video we're going to be adding new attributes item in Twig templates. We're going to create an attribute from our new HTML element in node preprocess function. We're going to create the element in the node HTML Twig template and we're going to render the attributes and also add additional class from our Twig template. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and it has also a custom theme called Drupal and let's go ahead and create a new file called name of the team dot team and we're going to be writing PHP here and let's set to PHP and we're going to say here that it is a file where we defined preprocess functions and here we're going to define our function the name of our team preprocess So pre process not exactly. That's looking good. And we say here implements hook pre process note. And here we are passing the variables variable as reference and let's go ahead and say dump here so that we see what we have there and afterwards we're going to basically create a new attributes so there is already attributes here but that is already being rendered and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new attributes so let's go ahead and say variables and here we're going to be adding a quote wrapper and we're going to say attributes here and in order to create the standard Drupal attributes element we're going to be using the Drupal core attribute exactly so we'll quickly check what is the namespace so it's Drupal core template attribute so we say here use and we say attribute and after that here we're going to be creating a new attribute and it is going to have let's say first ID the ID could be since it's a preprocessed node and since we could check it also here there is a node here so we could say wrapper and concatenate it with the variables node and get id and we're going to put also a data js name which is going to be the node title 
I happen to know there is a get title function there and let's add some classes so we say class and those would have to add as array items so let's say first class pp so that we differentiate that it's added from the preprocess function and let's say second class pp that's perfect so as we now check the output of the variables we would see that our custom attribute should be already there quote wrapper and here we have our attribute and what we want to do now is we want to basically render the attribute inside of the node template so if we inspect here a bit we would see maybe we can inspect here down a bit and yes so here we see that the node template is coming from the bardic templates node so let's go ahead and copy that teams bardic templates node so we copy it and then we can simply have it here new folder templates and just paste it so here we have the node overwritten so we could simply here add a new div and have our attributes here so we say as we know it starts with quote wrapper and then attributes that's perfect and we could as well add let's say here we're adding a new class called twig class 3 because it's the third class and here we could simply render a quote that I have from Terry Pratchett okay that's perfect so let's go ahead now and clear the cache and we still have the dump output so I just get rid of that and if we refresh and clear the cache again so that's perfect here is our quote and if we inspect a bit we would see that the quote has a ID of wrapper and the node ID here as we got it there we have a data.js name the node title and we have the first class pp second class pp those that are coming from the preprocess function and the third class that is coming from the tweak with the add class here as you used it so this is the way to add custom attributes that you could easily change and structure in your tweak templates and in your preprocess functions thanks for watching if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching